What's better than one e-bike? Two e-bikes. This is the e-spin flow and the e-spin Nesta. We're gonna put them in the test and tell you if they're any good. Are they? Keep on watching to find out more. All right, let's first talk about the e-spin Nesta. It's called the Nesta because it folds up. I'll show you how to fold up in just a second. It's actually a class three e-bike. That means that it not only has pedal assist, but also has throttle, and it goes up to 28 miles an hour. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Snap Cycle S1 that we tried. Watch our full review here. But this good looking e-bike does a nice big battery that right here reminds me of the Red Rover 5 batteries we've seen before, but it folds up. It's gonna share how to do it in just a second. Take it for a ride and see if it's any good. Let's take these bad boys for a spin and see how it goes. Now to be honest with you, I have no idea what happened here, but my microphone stopped working. So you missed a couple little details about it, but nah, nothing too big. Let's jump right back in to our review. I was not recording before, I don't know how that happened, dang it. Now one thing that surprised me about this bike is just how fast it is. I mean, a class three e-bike, sure, it goes 28 miles an hour through the throttle, which is right here. Fun fact, throttle will not go if you have your brakes on, which is really smart. Um, but let's just do this for a quick speed test and see how fast we're going. And uh, let's do it. I'm gonna do just throttle here at first, okay? Two, three, seven, 11, 12, 14, 15, 17, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, and let's stop. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Now let's try with the uh, pedal assist. I do have pedal assist turned on five, and this bike is gonna just take off and go. Watch this. 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Man, just goes like that. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. That's awesome. Now, I kind of thought at first when I saw this bike that it was kind of like a me, me too bike. Like, oh yeah, like I, I'm gonna get on the e-bike game. But then I started looking into the specs. Woo, that pedal assist level is pretty high. Um, and I was really surprised by something. This class three e-bike has hydraulic disc brakes. It's about $17.99. It has a 750 watt motor. I think it goes up to a thousand watts. It's got about 40 miles of range, but also has 85 Newton meters of torque. What does that mean? It means you're not gonna have a problem climbing hills. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. But hydraulic disc brakes, on a less than $2,000 e-bike is almost unheard of. What does hydraulic disc brakes mean for you? Watch this. Let's go. I need to stop, no! Woo! Pretty cool, huh? I didn't wait for a skid there. That is what hydraulic disc brakes mean for you. It means you can not have to worry about braking. Also, you don't have that squeal and break-in period that sometimes new e-bikes have when you first get them. Awesome, awesome feature. And of course, this e-bike is foldable. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. It does have a you know pretty good, unique little display here. It's nothing fancy. It shows you the speed, your odometer, um, how far you've been, what pedal assist level in, what battery you're in. This, Battery looks a little, little familiar there, doesn't it? <laughs> looks a little bit like the Rad Rover uh, batteries. Does have this front lockout suspension. D does include the rear rack, which is also another great thing. It also includes a front rack. I just didn't put it on. Um, it's one of those front racks where as you move the handlebars, the front rack will actually stay there because um, it's attached to the frame and not to the handlebars. It's a little, little different at first when you're First getting used to it, same thing as like on the Rad Wagon 4. Uh, but let me just show you just how easy this thing goes up hills. The Newton meters of torque at 85 is pretty high. Let's, let's go try it out. It is one of these uh, deceptively cold days here in Colorado. 
It doesn't look like it's cold, but my hands are freezing. It was a pretty steep hill here nearby my house, but it just goes up it without a problem whatsoever. Check this out. I mean, you wouldn't even think I'm going up a steep hill. I used to hate this hill with my regular e-bike or before I had an e-bike because it would just, ugh, ugh, I was like slogging. I just shot a v review the other day and uh, saw a poor lady who was uh, doing this with a regular bike and she had to, uh, <laughs> she had to stop and walk it up. No shame in that whatsoever. No shame at all. At least no shame for me. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> I wish. You see, even kids like these bikes. Pretty cool. All right, I had not tried to fold this thing before, so here's my first shot. I'm gonna read the instructions, see if I can do it. Well, I know this part comes down. Oh, my hands are freezing. Yep, boop boop. Let's turn off the bike too, how about that? Yep, easy, easy. Now this part folds. Nice solid bolt there. Oh, there you go. And Bam, just like that, my boy folds up. It is about 60 pounds, if I remember that correctly. Another thing about it is the pedals also fold up. There we go, look at that. Pedals also fold up. Maybe they do not, maybe I'm making that up. There they go. Push them in, and they fold in like that. Yep, there you go. Also has a nice kickstand built in. Rocking all. Pretty cool. Nice and easy. Best part is you can toss in the back of the car too. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the E-Spin Flow. This is just a nice looking cruiser bike. It's got this nice integrated battery. It is a class two e-bike, so it does have a throttle. It does have pedal assist, but it only goes the top speed of 20 miles an hour, which is what most e-bikes are. Unlike the Nesta, which is a class three. But is this bike any good? I don't know, let's go take it for a spin and I'll let you know what I think. Yep, this is the Flow. It is a class two e-bike. It's a nice cruiser. It's got a little adjustable handlebars here so you can ride it any which way that you, you want to. You can ride it more as a cruiser. You can ride it just a little bit more aggressive style. And uh, it's a pretty nice little bike. Whoa, around some shifting issues here. Pedal assist to the whoa. There we go. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this bike does have a little bit of suspension in the front. Not giant tires like the Nesta, but it does have tires that are. You know, medium size. They're not huge. They're not. They're not big. They're not small. Um, totally capable of 
taking on light trails, the light trail kind of by my neighborhood here, but no problem handling it whatsoever. Dogs love me in this neighborhood, riding back here, don't they? Woo! Need to tighten up the handlebars, that's on me. You know, a class one, I mean a class two and a class three e-bike, you really can't tell the difference if you've never ridden an e-bike. But man, if you go from a class three to a class two, you can definitely tell that difference. It's really kind of funny actually. So let me just show you real quick the difference between a class one and a class two in just terms of, of overall speed, okay? I'll switch the angle here on the camera just so you can see a little better. All right, like I mentioned, if you go from a class two or a class three e-bike to a class two, you really can tell the difference between how fast the bike goes. So I'm in the same spot that I was testing the Nesta, here's the flow, a class two e-bike. It also has just a little bit less wattage, it has a 500 watt motor versus the 750 watt motor of the Nesta. Um, you can tell the difference, let me just show you, okay? I'm gonna start out and I did not put on the handlebar tight enough, so if you see this moving, that is not a fault of the bike, that is a fault of me. Just gotta make sure they're nice and tight. I put it together too quickly, I guess, and yeah, see, it's a little, a little loose, so. No problem though, we'll, we'll dr just drive here, and head back home and fix that up, all right. So let's just do pedal assist and show you how long it takes to get to the top speed of 20 miles an hour, which is the top speed of any class two e-bike with just uh, pedal assist or with throttle. So let's check it out. One, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, and 20. So it doesn't keep going obviously past 20, it just kind of uh, pauses there. Not a problem whatsoever. All right. Now another thing that really surprised me about these e-spin bikes was they include hydraulic disc brakes. What does that mean for you? Well, watch this. I'm gonna get going and show you how good these bikes stop. The pedal assist. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and stop. No squeal, no nothing. All right, now obviously this is a class two e-bike. It is not made for crazy adventures. It's not made to go up crazy steep hills, but it is a more than capable e-bike. It reminds me a lot of the KBO Breeze Step Through. I really like Step Through designs. Now, who are these bikes for? I can really see myself riding the Nesta. It's just fun. It's just kind of a funky bike. You get, as you heard the kids in the neighborhood saying, hey, I like your bike, Papa Wheelie. Uh, probably not gonna get those kind of comments on this one, but that's okay. That's not what this bike is trying to do. It's just a nice cruiser bike. It's a little bit more relaxed and that is okay. If you want a nice e-bike that can just take you wherever you want to go and not have to worry about, you know, even bumps. I do like it does include a suspension. Um, this is a good little cruiser e-bike. I can really easily picture me riding the Nesta and my wife riding this flow here because it's just easy. And it's a nice, awesome way to ride. So let's write it out a little more. And let's fix these handlebars too, whoa. Woo you do feel a little bit of the lack of power in this bike when you are going up hills and when you are starting from a cold stop, but Honestly, it's really not even noticeable unless you are used to something that has a little more power. For my wife, this would be a perfect bike. You know, when I first saw Eastman, I thought they were kind of a me too type of bike that just wanted to capitalize on the e-bike movement and come up with some copycats, but you know what? I couldn't be farther from the truth. From the extra features like hydraulic disc brakes you do not find in bikes under 2,000 bucks, I mean, you just don't, to a really powerful motor in here, to just the great, incredible design of the flow. 
They've really thought through everything with these e-bikes. They are, they look good too. I mean, look at this matte color, matte gray. I love it. They're incredibly easy to put together. They come with the great instructions, great package on how to put it all together. But I would love to ride this e-bike. It's fun, it's aggressive, it's kind of quirky. You saw the kids ask me to pop a wheelie on it. You know what my wife would love to ride? This e-bike, it's lightweight, not too big, easy to ride, can be ride you know, in a pretty comfortable position. You can adjust it, you can adjust even the angle of the handlebars. But these are great e-bikes. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we hope to see you again real soon.